Hey guys, so um, I am here to tell you guys some really, really important um, information. Um, so as you can see by the title, uh, I got saved and I'm going to tell you guys kind of like a little background story and also like just what has been going on with me and I'm just really excited because, you know, you know, I just been through a lot in my life and, you know, it's, it's like, it feels great for me to, you know, be able to share this with you guys. So, um, so let's get started. So I got saved on January 16th. Yeah, it was about like, you know, a week ago. And, um, I was actually watching uh, a YouTuber. Her name is Ashley D. Beauty. Um, you guys probably know her. She does a lot of, you know, makeup and hair videos. She's really, really sweet. Like, she does these vlogs. And there was this one vlog I was watching. It was called, uh, Forgiveness. And she was just telling, she was, like, explaining to you, like, why you should forgive and why it's, like, you know, right and things like that. And then she go, she went on to say, like, how you can overcome forgiveness. So, uh, she ended up, you know, including into her video, like in her description box, like, you know, this, um, this lady na named, um, Heather Lindsay and she, uh, did a lot of podcasts on iTunes and she also has her own ministry. So I was like, hmm, you know, I would just look at it. Like, you know, I was just like nonchalant, like, okay, whatever, like I'll look at it. And honestly, not even, not even seven seconds into the podcast, you guys, like I am being dead serious. Like, I was captivated by her because the way she just like pulled you in like she she literally like attracted me into like her podcast and she she did this thing that I never heard of like it's called a shake it off and it's where you know you just shake off all the stresses in your life and you're just like just thanking God for all the good things that are happening to you and it's gonna and things that are gonna be coming uh, that God is gonna be doing for you so you know, I found that so interesting because I was like, shake it off, like, <laughs> no pastor of mine that I usually go to church with, like, they've never, like, done things like that. It's just like, okay, let's get into it. Like, you know, like, people are still stressed. People are still thinking about those things. People are not able to really, like, concentrate and really learn the word of God if, like, you know, they still have those stresses in their life. They still have those disgusting desires that, you know, that are contaminating them. And they're not able to really, you know, let the word of God, like, come and resonate inside of them, you know? So, you know, when I did that, I was, like, I felt much more peaceful, you know? And she was talking and, you know, giving examples on how to, like, really forgive people. Because I have a very, very, like, I'm a very, I'm a very sweet person. I'm a caring person. But when, you know, when somebody hurts me, like, deep down, like, you know, bays and stuff, friends, like, they, you know, they really hurt me. So, it's hard for me to forgive people. So, after watching that and also listening to the podcast, like, I, I just forgave. Like, I really, like, sat down and I was like, I need to forgive these people. And then, you know, after I listened to her podcast, I really like sat down with God and I and I prayed to him and I was like, I'm so sorry for like all the things I've, I've done in my life. I'm sorry for, you know, all the wrongs that I have done. I'm sorry for putting all these desires and all these things that are not even like real before you. Like, you know, I would just, I'll put so much before, before him. I would put you know, boys before him. I would put making friends before him. I would put going to the club before him. You know, like I just, I had so many desires, you guys. And if you guys were to watch like my old Jenny one-on-one -on -one videos that I used to do like last semester, I was always complaining about a boy like all the time. You know, if you like went on my Twitter, my Twitter, I just, you know, I was always complaining, always ranting, always complaining. And, you know, I was like, I can't, I can't be living like this. Like, you know, and also, you know, I just got out of a relationship. So I felt like this was like a perfect time for me to really like focus myself in with God and really create a sound 
uh, relationship with him because I cannot be living life walking around aimlessly and not knowing like what my purpose is like I want to have a purpose I want to live life knowing that God put something in me for me to go and help others you know so you know I don't know what my purpose is yet because you know I just you know I just recently got saved I'm still you know talking to him I'm still seeking him I'm still reading his word and trying to understand like what he wants me to do but you know it's a it's a struggle you know it's a struggle to really like let go of your old habits and take in the new ones that he wants for wants you to do like you know I am trying to I'm trying so hard to you know cut off these bad these bad people you guys because I'm about to do like you know a lot of vlogs on this I'm about to talk about all these problems that like you know a lot of people go through and um you know one of the things that I really struggle with is cutting off um like Heather Lindsay has this thing has this uh term called randoms and it's really pretty much like somebody that does not have a purpose in your life has no reason to be in your life and I have a problem with that I have a problem with cutting off randoms and you know I'm getting better at it like I've already cut off so many people from my life and also cutting off you know friendships that are hindering you you know so I am struggling with trying to cut off a friendship uh, with somebody that is very very important to me but you know I've read a lot of scriptures and you know they said you need to love from a distance you need to bless them from a distance so that's what I'm trying to do you know it's it's really hard but I know that it's something that God wants me to do and I have to do it you know I have to obey him so I definitely want to do like these talks with you guys because I, I don't know um, how many of you guys are Christians just like me um, people that you know are trying to be saved but you know they just keep on going back to their old habits or maybe they just you know they've been saved for a long time and you know they they have so much like you know advice to give and that's another thing I'm I want to tell you guys about I'm also part of the pinky promise movement and that's an, um, another group that Heather Lindsay made on her website It's called pinkypromisemovement.com and it's really cute because <clears throat> because you're making a pact with God you're making a promise to God and you're saying um, Lord, I'm going to honor my body. I'm going to honor my mind and my soul. I'm going to honor everything and I'm not going to contaminate it. I'm not going to, you know, let any man like, you know, touch me anyway. I'm not going to let anyone like, you know, come and like hinder me. Like I'm not going to, I'm not going to listen to bad music. I'm not going to watch like reality shows that are, you know, planting a seed in me that's making me feel like oh it's okay for me to cheat on like my husband like you know like because that's another thing too because uh you guys need you guys really need to watch heather Lindsay because honestly i just i learned so much from from her sermons from her talks and you know going into the bible and you know also like you know seeing these things because it's a difference between like you know really like listening to a listening to um a, a pastor right listening to a reverend and just like you know just taking in everything that they're saying, you need to take what they're saying and also, you know, apply it to the Bible and make sure, like, you know, what they're saying is true. Because, you know, there's times where I've, um, like, maybe, like, two years ago, I used to go to this newfound church, right? And they wouldn't really, like, use the Bible that much. It was more like, oh, you know, you guys need to love, and blah, blah, blah. They just do all this, like, you know, do all this stuff. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah, like, that sounds totally right. But, like... You know, I wouldn't go to the Bible and, like, really, like, read it and, you know, make sure it's actually in there. That they're not just preaching false, false things to me, you know. And, and they were, like, it wasn't true. Well, to me, it wasn't true. So, you know, just so, so, many, so many things have happened, you guys. And I'm just so blessed and I'm so happy because I, I just, I don't know where I would be right now. I don't know, like, how I would be feeling because so much has happened um you know in this week and it's crazy because i am constantly being tested i'm constantly you know just reading studying reading studying reading studying and then just the tests come and i'm praying and then it's just it's just continuous and like you know it's stressful then it's joyful then it's stressful then it's joyful and you know i'm just i'm trying to be content in any situation so 
you guys, I'm just, I'm really happy and like, it's just, it's amazing. Oh, oh, and I keep on touching this, like I'm going to show you guys, but like, yeah. So I, I wanted something that will remind me of like um, my Pinky Promise, because Pinky Promise, they actually give you like a bracelet, but I don't have money, <laughs> so I know I always say I don't have money, but I technically really don't have money. Like my checking, my checking balance is literally at zero dollars. Like I have money in my savings, but okay, yeah, I'm just going on and on. But like, yeah, so I got this little like, yeah, sorry, I got a cut. Okay, so I got ashy fingers. Okay, I'm getting distracted, but um, yeah, I got this ring. I got this ring from Joyce Leslie, not Joyce Leslie, Rue 21, and it's really cute. I just liked how it looked, and it's really pretty, and it fits on my, um, my pinky ring, and it's really cute. And also, I like this bracelet, too, because, you know, it has cross on it, too. But I'm definitely trying to, like, you know, save up to have, like, a really nice, uh, ring for my ring finger, because, you know, I, that's another talk I'm still gonna have with you guys. I'm, you know, I'm trying to not trying I'm staying single you know I am not trying to be part of like those meaningless like relationships that you know it isn't going to be lasting so what's the point of you like staying in it and I'm not trying to find a bay like I'm just you know I want to be devoted only to like Christ like I only want to focus on him like I'm not looking at either way and I'm not trying to talk to anyone like I do not feel the need. Like, before, I felt like I had to. Like, I was like, I was like, Body, boy, like, I talk to somebody, like, oh, boy. Like, you know? And I just, like, I just, I don't, I don't want it, you know? Definitely don't want it. It's just a mess. Ugh. Like, ugh. I have to talk to you guys about that. I think I'm going to talk about that in the next talk, because, and, so if you see me wearing the same clothes, it's because I'm talking, so, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to talk about that next, but, um, yeah. So, you guys, I'm just, I'm just rambling because I'm, I'm really excited like don't you guys see like I'm really happy so I'm really happy I could really talk to you guys um well talk to my phone but <laughs> I'm really happy because you guys you guys have been with me for almost three years like I've been ha I had this channel for three years and I'm thankful for it and you know you guys you guys are really amazing like I love you guys so much I'm so blessed to have you and you guys are amazing like I love you guys so, I hope you guys like this video. Um, you know, comment, like, you know, all that good stuff. And I hope you guys stay blessed. I love you. And bye.